am Professor Julia Sumner Miller, and physics is my business. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and people, and others? And our physics today takes up from where we were last time, the case of the three-hole can. You remember we had a can, elevation, total depth, H, holes a quarter of the way, two quarters of the way, three quarters of the way, the holes plugged up first, the level of the water kept fixed. We pulled the stoppers and we asked, how fast does the water emerge? Some say V, 2V, 3V, because it's depth D, 2D, 3D. It is wrong. The velocities do not go that way, and I left it for you as an exercise for yourself and with your teachers. Then we asked a more profound question. What is the path of the water from each orifice to the tabletop on which the can stands? Farthest from the lowest, middle from the middle, least from the uppermost, some say, and I said it was wrong. All identical range from the three orifices, and I said it was wrong. This geometry, least from here, more from there, and most from there. And I remarked and will again that those people who thinketh so are dangerous for the human race. Let us pray. That is flagrant, idolatrous, and wrong. Wrong. Indeed, it is so very wrong that it has pained my wounded heart. Now, what is right? Oh, we shall reveal the mystery, and you will be enchanted by the discovery. Here is what is right. First hole, middle hole, second hole. Oh-ho! How many are wishing that I reveal the truth? Range so from the middle orifice. Less range from the uppermost. Less range from the lowermost. And those two are equal. And moreover, the maximum range is equal to the depth of water in the can. And I say this is wonderful to consider. And I urge you, make a can and do it. And see for yourself how alarming the results. And an added commentary. This has been in the books for centuries. Wrong. 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 The case of the three-hole can and Sherlock Holmes and Julius Sumner Miller. Now we are going to something more enchanting still. I hope you have all detected, I hope you have all detected that I have used the words wonderful, exciting, Enchanting, stirring for the spirit, and so on, because this is what it all has been for me for more than half a century, and I hope that the feeling is becoming contagious. What I'm going to talk about is as follows. Look in this flask. Oh, by the way, you'll enjoy this little aside. Many things I have of my property, I have on them my initials, JSM. On some of them, I have the following. Save, S-A-V-E, JSM, since sometimes my colleagues use them. And one of my younger colleagues, a brilliant fellow, was disposed to say, Professor, is this a plea for salvation? <laughs> That's wonderful. Just take a look at this and we shall take it up another time. There is in there a little medicine vial with some water in it. And if we can see closely, I'm going to push on this stopper and down it goes. I'm going to let up the load and up it comes. And these matters we shall explore in the next exercise. And I thank you for watching.